were all getting really bummed out that we came all this way and at first we got lost and then we found the bridge and then it didn't really look like there was anything and then we walked over to this side and bam, giant ass dinosaur print. This is cool. Come check this out. Hello, hey everybody. So it's a pretty exciting day. We are about to head off on a 10 day road trip across Northern BC and we're gonna peek a little bit into the Yukon. Yeah, it's gonna be an awesome trip. Dana's got a whole bunch of awesome hikes planned. We're gonna go check out a cool dinosaur museum and just a whole bunch of other stuff. We've never been up there. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna finish hitching up and then we're gonna get going in about an hour or so once I finish packing and whatnot. So let's do it. Okay, so we're all settled in, we're ready to go. We're about to embark on a, we're gonna go thousands of kilometers. Adventure. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, we're gonna go to Northern British Columbia, which we have never been to before, so. It's pretty exciting. Get hype. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. So our general plan heading out of the Lower Mainland is to head up north until we hit Prince George. Once we're at Prince George, we're basically about halfway up BC and then we're gonna start doing this big loop that kind of takes us up the east side and then we're gonna go into the Yukon and then come back down the west side, back into BC. We have a lot of different planned stops along the way and the entire trip should be somewhere around 5,000 kilometers total. Stopping at this gas station. We pretty much always stop at this gas station whenever we're going on a trip. And we can get a bunch of snacks and food. We got the whole pizza. Oh yeah, so we got an entire pizza. <laughs> it's fresh. <laughs> I felt rude, but... Come on, you have to go to this gas station. It's a whole pizza. <laughs> we are waiting in traffic. Stop line has a timer on it. And that's at like, it's at like 70 seconds. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so it's quarter after eight now. Uh, as you can see on the map, we still have two hours to go. And that's not even our destination tonight. That's just to the water fill site. And then we still have at least another hour after that. Where are we, Mike? Hey everyone, so we're at 100 mile. We're still another hour or so from the campsite that, no, campsite, the, <laughs> the road stop that we're gonna sleep at tonight. So we're here, getting fresh water. We almost didn't find this place because Mike I had the wrong, up. I messed up and put the wrong <laughs> pin in the map, and which led us to some residential neighborhood. It was just like, oh, what are we gonna do? We're not gonna have any water. And he didn't find a backup for this. Yeah, one. and there was no backup though, so, but we found it. Here. Luckily, there's no gate or anything, so you can just come here whenever. Um, so yeah, if you're in 100 Mile, they have a municipal dump site and water fill station, 24 hours. Awesome. It's just All right, so we made it on day one. Uh, we're here on the side of the road, about an hour outside of 100 Mile, where we filled water. We've gone as far as we're going to today, so we're just gonna sleep here and uh, get back at her in the morning. Ooh. So yeah. All right, and it's bedtime. Alarm set for 6 a.m. We gotta get back on the road to keep on our schedule. Good morning. It is 6 a.m. We have to get up and keep driving. <laughs> Today. Some dinosaur, dinosaur footprints for real. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we were all night. That's actually pretty nice. <laughs> what? Well, when I woke up, all I could see was like water on here, and then I could see little islands, and I was like, oh, fire river. <laughs> 
river. <laughs> it's, it's a swamp. <laughs> Putting in our map coordinates. Six and a half hours almost to where we need to go. Okay, so the plan today is we're gonna drive this six and a half hours to our next camp spot. We're gonna drop the trailer off and then we're gonna go check out those dinosaur footprints that I talked about earlier. Uh, I'm just getting ready to go now, so let's get going. You guys ready? Peace. Okay, so we stopped at a little poa to get the old washroom, and we got back in the car, and Marissa's like, it smells like poo. And guess who stepped in poo? <laughs> How many bugs they collect on trips like this? Disgusting. All right, so we're about halfway up BC now, so we're getting there. One of the best parts about RV life is that you take your bathroom anywhere you go. <laughs> Every time we stop for gas, my wallet cries a little <laughs> Okay, so we've arrived at our first campsite. Um, we're not sure how well we can fit or anything in there, so Dana's, you can see, but Dana's kind of running down there right now to try to scout it out. All right, so I think we are at the camp spot. I just want to double check that we can actually turn around. And that is actually even nice. <laughs> Looks like we're on the other side. And I mean, I can turn around in all those areas. Yeah, I think you can. yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's like waving us in. Okay. Like, what if you came into here and then pulled back and then over? This is our campsite for the next two nights. What a glorious view! Trailer, getting it all set up. Okay, now we're back on the road. Dana's driving now, so I can have a break. And now we're gonna go see these dinosaur footprints. So we found a bridge that's really there's actually a dam on this side. I'm gonna take a photo here because it's really nice. Really, that's what they're supposed to look like. To the right? Right, yeah. Stay to the right. Okay. And take that cross top of the dam. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Almost didn't make it in. What? I saw a sign that said like personnel, per authorized yeah. personnel only, or something like that. And yeah. I was like, oh no, we're not gonna get to go. But the security guard was really, really nice and just took down our information and they let us roll on through. Gave us directions and stuff too. So. sure where we're going because um, we're going off the path of what the GPS is saying but where the GPS says to go there's no road so we'll just keep going down the obvious road and see what happens okay uh, we think we're here but we're not sure which direction to go the um, description that we got says that you have to walk down the creek and the dinosaur tracks are on both sides of it, but we don't know which direction because the creek runs both ways here. As you can see, we could either go that way, where Dana's kind of checking out now, or we can go that way. Um, 
What I might do is fly up the drone and see if I can scout something for us. I just was looking at this and thought like, oh, like there's definitely room to walk. Yeah, but... You know? It's Maybe they went when it was dry. What? As we started our search on the ground, it didn't really look like we were finding anything. We couldn't tell if the things that we were seeing were prints from dinosaurs or if they were just indents in the rocks from other stuff. I ended up finding some indents in the ground that were covered by leaves and sticks. And as I started clearing it away, I realized this might be an actual track. And then it dawned on me that someone might have actively tried to cover these up so nobody else could find them, which I don't really get why you would do that. But in any case, we did end up finding them. Marcia, I think this yeah, is like this actually is, This is actually one. one. But from this angle. Yeah, you kind of have to stand from where Dana is. Guys, we found it. It's just right here. Come check it out. That's That is where a dinosaur stood millions of years ago. That's so cool. I'm so, I was. I was getting so bummed. Yeah, yeah. We were, we were all getting really bummed out that we came all this way and at first we got lost and then we found the bridge and then it didn't really look like there was anything and then we walked over to this side and bam, giant ass dinosaur print. This is cool. Come check this out. So GPS yourself to Gething Creek Recreational Site. Uh, you're gonna go down a bunch of support service roads. You probably, you probably don't have to have a four x four, but it'd be helpful. Uh, you're gonna get to this bridge and the campsites and stuff are on the other side of this bridge. And you have to go down left to see the tracks that we just saw. There's a few going right as well, but a lot of them are buried underneath the water and stuff now. Um, but the main event one is that way. We were about to be pretty bummed that it wasn't gonna work out, but it worked out.